Kashkai. It is beautiful weather and everybody is getting ready to go. Hi everybody, pretty uh, amped to be aboard Playmobil here, just joined the crew in Kashke. live in Fort Langley, British Columbia, not too far from uh, Mike and Levi. About me, uh, dad of two wonderful girls and a third kid coming in July. My wife Nikki is at home in Fort Langley taking good care of the family while I'm out here uh, gallivanting with my, uh, my friends old and new. Grew up uh, sailing with my family on the sailboat, monohull, but this is my first real catamaran experience and uh, it's been a pretty epic one so far. Fish on! We have a fish for the first time on our trip. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock and uh, we are on night watch until 12. Yeah. What do you guys... You're going to go up in the hammock, I think. Yeah. Make sure you're strapped in. It's pretty dark. Got some uh, fresh toasted muesli from Nikki at home here. This one here is the uh, honey almond toasted muesli with mangoes, pineapple, and apple. And over here, there's the maple walnut toasted muesli with cranberries, strawberries, and pecans. Is the smiley face part of the? Um, that's Anna's contribution. Was um, some stickers for us on the, uh, the toasted muesli bag. So thanks, girls. So hi. Uh, so there we are. Go back to. Tenerife, I can answer, you know, so my first time there, I'm really happy uh, to be there and uh, really exciting. Uh, actually, Cash Case, it was a nice uh, stop and uh, the crew is really nice, everybody nice. We have a week uh, well, uh, so I think we'll uh, enjoy uh, this for four more days. So, everything perfect. We're out here playing around on Playmobil and uh, thinking about our uh, kids and in some cases grandkids back at home. So let's see what we can find over here. calm down tomorrow and come around and swing around from behind us. So that'll feel less stormy and more settled 
and maybe we'll try the parasailer. About uh, two days ago, things were pretty stormy and we had a line that was holding the sheet, uh, the starboard sheet on uh, the Jenniker. And uh, that line was sort of dangling a little bit uh, later on in the night. And uh, when we fired up an engine, when the, when the wind settled down, uh, pretty quickly that line wrapped itself around our right. propeller. And in the meantime, we've been waiting for calmer weather so that we can dive down and rescue that propeller. Good news is this catamaran has two engines, so uh, we're able to use the port side engine to uh, tell motor along a little bit during quiet night last night. And then today, as it finally calmed down, we, uh, we took our first dip in the Atlantic as a, as a crew. I think most of us were in there today. Uh, it was 22 degrees, the uh, water all got in there, and uh, Richard jumped in first, uh, bravely, and decided to head down and check it out. Uh, strapped on some goggles and uh, went down to have a look at that line wrapped around the starboard side uh, propeller shaft. Uh, he gave it a good tug and uh, discovered that it was, it was wrapped around there pretty good. So. Then uh, Mike and I jumped in the water as well, and uh, through, through a little bit of teamwork, managed to unwind it, and then uh, got a knife in there, and started hacking away a little bit, not too bad. And then the pliers were the final touch, there, thanks so to we uh, picked away the, the last fibers and, and got her clean. So yeah, and it was a great excuse to take a dip in the Atlantic. It was fabulous. Yeah, I, think, I think almost everybody swam. Almost everybody. I think so, yeah. yeah. Wow. And it, was, it was cool going through the tunnel underneath, that was underneath, underneath the, the bridge underneath deck. Underneath the bridge deck, yeah. Yeah, very, very cool. Not sure if you can see the water in the video, but it's gotten remarkably more blue. Yeah. So we look forward to uh, maybe anchoring when we get to Tenerife so that um, yeah, we can spend a little bit of time on the, on the dinghy with a few water toys. So this time tomorrow we should be making our way at anchor. Approaching the Canary Islands? Yeah, approaching of uh, Tenerife Island. So we'll be there in, uh, it's, uh, 24 miles uh, from, uh, from there. So I think it will be a nice uh, nice day. Actually, we don't have, uh, at the moment, we don't have uh, a sail, so pretty fun. Let's start a show, cause I want you to be mine